we're going to start with the color side up and fold edge to edge. And unfold. Now bring the lower edge to the crease you just created. And fold. Turn the paper and bring the other edge to the crease you just created. And make a crease. Then unfold again. Rotate the paper and repeat the steps you just did. Hold edge to edge. Unfold. Bring the lower edge to the crease you just created. Make a crease. Turn the paper and bring the other edge to the crease you just created. Also. and unfold. Then rotate the paper and fold point to point to make a crease on the diagonal. Unfold, rotate and again bring one corner to the other to make a diagonal crease. And unfold. Now bring the tip to the intersection of these three creases right there. And make a crease. Unfold, rotate, and repeat the step, bringing a tip to an intersection. Unfold again, rotate, and for a third time, bring a tip to an intersection. Unfold, rotate, and one last time, bring a tip to an intersection. This time, keep the paper folded. Now, along this crease, we'll have a mountain fold, and along this crease, we will have a valley fold. So, let's first make the valley fold by just pushing in the paper along an existing crease and pushing it in further, further further until you reach the fold where there is a mountain fold, like so. So you can see you're hiding a triangle inside. On the other side do the same. Bring in the valley fold and bring it in until you reach that fold. Now you have something like a house shape. Now we're going to go along this crease and that crease, both valley folds, to form a rabbit ear. Now pinch the top along the existing crease, then fold the rabbit ear to the left, make a crease, and to the right, and make a crease. Now, go to the next side. Bring the rabbit ear out of your way. And again, go along this crease, bringing it inside. Now, open up this area so that you go along this crease in a mountain fold, like so. And then, you again have a house shape and you again collapse it to the left, to the right and bring it upwards to have it out of your way. Rotate again, 
To repeat the step again, you will have to open these sides a bit. This is the valley fold you will be going along. So let's push this inside a bit. And we again want a house shape. You can see this corner. Let's have a closer look at it. Here is the house shape. And this is the tip I just showed you. So make mountain folds on both sides. And then, as usual, collapse. To the left, make a crease. To the right, make a crease. And then, one final time, find the house shape. You will have to open the paper a bit here. So I'm opening it here. And then pulling out the paper, right there. Putting the rabbit ear away and pulling out further. And again you can see, here's the tip. That's where you can locate where the house shape is supposed to be. And there it is. Again, collapse. To the left and to the right. Bringing all of the rabbit ears to the right, you get a windmill. Now take a top point and fold it downwards and a left point and fold it to the right. Now rotate a bit and you will see you've got a big triangle, you have got a small white triangle and the rest is colored and there are two squares. Now we're going to go along this crease and there are two creases right here. You will make a mountain fold out of this central crease and then bring the mountain fold to the left aligning it with the crease that's already there and make a strong crease so just press all of the layers of paper together. This creates a crease on the angle bisector of this angle. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring the mountain fold to the right and align it with the existing crease and push on the paper to make a crease. Unfold and now connect the two points that are where these creases end on the edge just with a simple valley fold. Make a sharp crease and unfold. Now take one layer of paper right here and lift it going along the crease you just created. Like so. You can open the paper only a bit and it stays 3D. Now we want to make this 2D again. For this let's look at the sides. You can see there is a crease right here. Same thing on the other side. We want to push in the paper right along that crease so that this is a valley fold and it goes all the way to the inside of the model. So just push that paper inside so that you have a crease there. And do the same thing on the other side. Push in the paper along that crease. Straighten out the folds. And then if you look at it from the front again, you can see that two edges meet in the middle now. 